Welcome back. Uh, part two of Google Forms. Um, if you haven't already done so, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you want to get one of the add-ons that is free for Google Sheets. So in your responses uh, spreadsheet that you have, or any spreadsheet for that matter, um, there's this button up here or this pull-down menu called add-ons. And if we click on add-ons, we want to get add-ons. The one that we want to get that I feel is um, a lot handier to use than um, using the built-in quiz feature of the Google Forms is this one called Fluberoo. And so if it's not showing up right away, you can just go to here and you type in Fluberoo. Here it is, Fluberoo. Uh, and that's free. And so what you want to do is you just want to add that one. What Fluberoo, and when you get to all these, you just scroll over down, just allow. Uh, what Fluberoo is going to do, I know it sounds goofy, and maybe that was by design, is that just like it says, once you have submissions, once you have questions that have been answered by your students and have those answers populated in your spreadsheet, uh, Fluberoo will grade that automatically for you. Okay, so if you haven't already done so, that's the first thing you want to do is download that and get that Fluberoo add-on for your Google Sheets. Uh, and then we can go and continue with what to do once we have all of those uh, Google Forms. Before you have the students um, collect or, or collect any um, responses from students, what I would su uh, suggest that you do, I strongly suggest that um, you take the quiz first and you can simply do that by just looking at the preview and because now this is an active form of the Google Form. And what to do is when you go through this, you can just click in whichever one you want here. But when you do um, take it the first time, then when you put in your name, you're gonna just put in answer key. Make sure you answer the questions correctly. Once you do that and you put in the answer key, uh, if you do that first, then yours will be the first item. Uh, as we can see, we'll go to the responses. There's 11 here. But when you open up your responses in the sheet, then your first one will be answer key at the top. And that's really handy because it's easy to find. And when you go to correct it, um, yes, we want to leave that. When you go to correct it, you'll know exactly where it is. Okay. Uh, the other thing that you can do is if you are working with another teacher, again, this little more button up here, uh, you could always add a collaborator, right? So if you have a team taught class or something like that, uh, you can add their information um, put their email address in there so that they can also be a contributor to this. Uh, from the responses section, uh, you can see who's answered it, uh, and you get a little charts for what the answers are. Uh, I tend not to use that so much unless it's for a survey question. I want to get kind of a snapshot for um, you know the different responses for different questions. Uh, what I like to do though is to go right to the view responses in the spreadsheet. Okay, now, one of the things that you can do with this is you can correct it automatically using Fluberoo. And so that is really, really nice. That's really handy. So what do you do? Well, we added Fluberoo. I know, it's funny every time. And when you add it, it comes up over here. Here's one of those add-ons. And all you do is you enable Fluberoo in the sheet. There we go. And so now, Fluberoo has been enabled. And what we can do, we'll just X this out right here, is we can use Fluberoo to grade this. It's, it's really that uh, quick and really that fantastic. Um, okay, oh, look at this. Uh, answer key, made a mistake. So this is supposed to be direction. There we go. Um, so one of the things that you can do is uh, you can also put in multiple right answers, which is handy when you have those short answer responses. Uh, for example, it could be very minor, uh, but if you notice, direction is the correct answer on the answer key. And if you just do a quick scan, you notice that, well, I've got direction here and here, but notice how they have a period that's there. So if you want to put in multiple correct answers, what you do is you just click on the answer key one, and when you go to this line up here, we're going to put in another right answer. And by doing that, we'll separate it with a space. We'll type in a percent sign and then or, no spaces in between that. And now we can write in our correct answer. So we can write in direction with a period. So now Fluberoo will recognize up here 
that direction or direction with a period is correct. So it can be kind of handy because if there's more than one right answer, uh, Fluberu will take both of them as being correct. Let's use Fluberu to correct it. So we go to the add-ons, we go to Fluberu, and it's as simple as grading the assignment. Now it's working, yes, working, great. Uh, and what it's going to do, it's gonna bring up all the questions that you have, and you have some options. Normal grading, you're gonna grade this one by hand, skip it, or is it something that identifies the student? Well, the block identifies the student. The name identifies the student. And the rest of these are all regular, normal grading. Uh, or science is fun, that one really wasn't a grading one, that was more of a uh, survey question, so we'll skip that one. We hit continue. And now Fluber is going to ask us, well, which of these should I use as the answer key? Well, that's why you answer it first with answer key. So we select this one, we go to continue, and Flubrew is grading it for you. Look how nice, and it may take a minute or two. Yeah, hardly ever. Done, perfect. So this right here is the grades. It locks in this first, uh, this row right over here. Total points, you have your percentage, you've got your names, uh, nine time submitted. If there's an email, which I didn't do for this as a sample, uh, you can actually share the grades with an email. If you go back to add-ons and you go to Flubrew, share grades. Um, if you put in an email address question, it will actually come up over here. This will read email address. Now we didn't do that, but if you did, it would say email address. You would select it and Flubrew will mail out, uh, email out all of the, the scores. You could include an answer key and then you can type in your optional message. Um, hit continue and if all of the students provide an accurate email address it will put a little X mark next to the ones that were successfully emailed. So what are some other nice things about having all this? Well look we've got grades over here uh, I put in two separate blocks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to duplicate this one more time. Why would I do that? I'm going to go back to the first copy of the grades and I'm going to rename it and I'm just going to call this one block one and this one over here I'm going to call rename it block two so and when I go over to block one remember that first question was block now you could have it different classes different periods of the day what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight and select all of the ones that are not block one. And then I will delete those selected rows and I'll go over to block two and I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna get rid of every one that is not block two. And we will delete those and there we go. What else do we wanna do? Well, to make it a little bit easier, why don't we just drag this over so we can see the full name we can take this one, drag it over so we can see the points, or you can do percentage. And hmm, let's make this even easier for ourselves. We'll go up here and we'll click on this down arrow and we're gonna sort the sheet A to Z. And so now all of our students are in alphabetical order. I have their total points, if that's what you choose. Or if you want percentage, I have that as well. So block one has been graded, it's organized, and you already have their scores. And if you had to have email, you've already sent the email home and the kids know exactly what they got. Oh, block two, let's do the same thing. Uh, it seems to be fitting over here. Let's organize this one, A to Z. And there we go, absolutely perfect. Um, you got some other options that are up here. You've got some data, uh, you've got some other tools. Um, one of the ones that I use quite a bit for this one too is the notification rules. So what are some options for this? Well. Anytime there's a change that's made, a student answers a question, or if it's a survey, um, if you want to be notified by email, you would just check this. Um, what I like to do is um, I'll do like a daily di uh, digest. If there's like a survey or something, uh, you can also get an email right away. So depending on you know what your goal is for that form, you might want to have a notification right away. That to me is sometimes a little bit tedious, uh, but you might want to have one um, every day. So 
if you have like an extra help form like I do, um, at, at the end of the day, I get a notification so that when I come into school the next day, I can see if there's any questions that are waiting for me from my students. Um, so there you have it. Um, one of the great features of uh, using Google Forms is be able to create these um, paperless questions, quizzes, surveys, bell ringers, tickets to leave, uh, contact information, spreadsheet, you name it, you can do it. Um, and it organizes it very, very nicely within this Google Sheet. And it's kind of a goofy name, but Flubaroo, uh, in my opinion, is a little bit more um, user-friendly and grades easier than the grading feature that's built into the Google Forms. So I hope you found some value in this and thank you for watching.